Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a look at the literary sources database that's published by Gale. So here I am on the main search page and there are a couple of different ways that you can search this database. The first is the traditional way. Um, and, and in order to search it using traditional uh, methods, you can either use this search box here on the main page or you can go here up to the top right where it says advanced and go to the advanced search page. So for today's example, I'm going to go ahead and look for information on the novel Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. So if I go ahead and do a traditional search in this database for information, um, you'll see what happens is that the database company will sort the search results by the type of article they are. So here over on the right, there's a section for content types. And so it has literary criticism, biographies, topic and work overviews, reviews and news, primary sources, and multimedia. Now, if you find that you have too many search results, what you can do is you can use this search box over here on the right to narrow your search results. So where it says search within results, I can add an additional search term here. So if I wanted to take a look at articles that showed how letters were used in the novel Pride and Prejudice, I can go ahead and add the search term letters and it will take the results that I already have and it will narrow them down to a shorter list that's a little bit more manageable for me. So this is how you can, uh, you can search this database by uh, traditional methods. Now if I go back to the home page, there is another option um, that will help you with brainstorming for thesis statements. And when I, when I go and I scroll down to the bottom, you'll find that additional search op option where it says Topic Finder. If you go to the Topic Finder and you do a search here, what will happen is it will show the results in a graphic format. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'm going to do the same search that I just did, only this time uh, when the database brings up my search results, instead of a list, it brings up a wheel. And so here um, is my search on Pride and Prejudice. So Jane Austen is the author of the novel. Um, Elizabeth Bennet is one of the characters in the novel. And so, for example, if I wanted to see um, what was written about Elizabeth Bennet, the character, if I click on that, what will happen is the articles will pop up over on the right for me. And it's a way to help brainstorm thesis statements and, and ideas for what you want to write about. If you find that the wheel format doesn't work for you, um, up in the top left, where it says visualization, there's also an option to switch it to tiles. And it's the same search results, it just looks a little different. So here, I have a whole box here that says Jane Austen, and when I click on the box that says Elizabeth Bennet, the articles will pop up over on the right. So it's just a different way of visualizing the same articles and the same information. Um, so those are a couple ways, a couple tips uh, that you can use in order to search literary sources effectively. If you have any questions, please ask one of your librarians or one of your teachers. And thank you for joining me today.